With Vitrolock, you can build glass blocks, walls and structures in a simple, fast and cheap way. Vitrolock is composed of two plastic elements, a spacer and a connector. By fixing the connector to the spacer, you obtain a plastic grid on which you can easily position the glass blocks. The cross-shaped profile can be cut in order to obtain some T's useful for the block's assembly or even some L's to complete the corners. Installation Before using the Vitrolock installation system, it is necessary to make sure the wall or floor are perpendicular and even. Phase 1 Prepare the L and T-shaped connectors by cutting one or two sides. The pieces obtained will be used to realize the first line, the corners, and the structure sides. Phase 2 Complete the first line of the structure by blocking the L and T-shaped connectors in the corresponding spacers. If the connection between the plastic profiles is correct, you can hear a click. Continue to block other spacers and T-shaped connectors until the desired wall size is reached. Phase 3. Make the necessary points on the floor and wall, near the holes present on the spacer. Make the holes. Position the wedges and screw the structure on the square previously created. Phase 4. Once the inferior part is screwed, block the vertical spacers on the horizontal spacers to obtain the correct joints between the glass blocks. Phase 5. Position the glass blocks between the vertical spacers until the line is complete. Phase 6. Insert the T-shaped connector into the upper glass block in a tilted position towards the wall. If Vitrolock is used for the glass blocks assembly in a window opening, it will be necessary to leave an upper space of around 40 millimeters to insert the last line and realize the anchoring to the supporting structure. Finishing. In order to finish the joints, it is possible to use rapid setting mortar for grouting. For the environment subject to high humidity levels or exposed to water, use silicone-based materials like neutral silicone or epoxy-2 component product for grouting. For the finishing, proceed as follows. Prepare the material for grouting. Fill the joints. Once the joints are dried, clean them with a sponge. If you use rapid setting mortar, clean the glass surface with a moist cloth when the mortar is dried but not hardened. Finishing of the free walls. Once the joints are hardened, cover the free sides with aluminum profiles. You can use any commercially available adhesive for gluing metal and plastic. For more detailed information, contact the technical department at Sevis.